we are all practitioners of yoga. And let us try to understand what yoga actually means. The Swadhyaya Satra is a small step in that direction. And over the last 10 weeks, we have been studying the first chapter of the four chapters of freedom, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. We are in the concluding stages of this. We shall chant Sutra 47 to 51 two times. And then we will look at the meaning of Sutra 50. Let us begin. Nirvichara Vaishara Dhyatma Prasadaha Rutambhara Tatra Pradnya Shrutanumana Pradnya Bhyamanya Vishaya Visheshartha Tvata Tadja Sanskaronya Sanskara Pratibandhi Tasyapi Nirodhe Sarva Nirodhan Nirbija Samadhi Once again Nirvichara Vaishara Dye Adhyatma Prasadaha Rutambhara Tatra Pradnya Shruta Anumana Pradnya Bhyam Anya Vishaya Visheshartha Tvata Tadjaha Sanskaraha Anya Sanskara Pratibandhi Tasya Api Nirodhe Sarva Nirodhan Nirbijaha Samadhi Oh What is the meaning of Sutra 50? In 47, we heard that a new spiritual illumination develops on mastering Nirvichara Samadhi. In 48, we understood at this juncture, at the borderline of Nirvichara Samadhi, the ultimate truth of all cosmic experiences dawns within the individual superconsciousness. In 49, we understood that this Rutambara Pradnya is different from the other two, other types of Pradnya, which are Shruta and Anuman, due to this special attribute of the Nirvichara state. Now, in Sutra 50, what do we come to understand? Tajjaha means born out of that, which has come out of that, manifested out of that. Samskaraha, impression. Anya, of the other. Samskara. Pratibandhi, that which prevents blocks. This samskara, impression, born out of this sam sabija samadhi, what has been discussed earlier, all what was discussed earlier was a part of sabija samadhi. So, out of that, the rutambhara pradnya comes up and that prevents generation of any other samskaras. You remember in the beginning, it was mentioned, yogaha chitta Vritti Nirodhaha. Now we are coming towards that. How do we do Chitta Vritti Nirodha? How does it happen? Is now being explained. So, this is, we are now on the brink of the culmination. That is the journey. And for us, as I have mentioned earlier, if samadhi is out of question, it's not if, actually for all 99.99% if there's one or two super special people, I don't know. But for us, it is something which is beyond our curriculum. But if the goal is beyond our curriculum at this point of time, let us step down and find what is the goal post, the milestone which we should Look at which we can inculcate in our life. And that milestone is harnessing, befriending and harnessing the mind so that we can bring in 
creativity, positivity, capabilities, and bring out the different potentials that helps us in working out our karmas, clearing that slate so that all those impressions slowly recede and that one impression lasts. That is the significance of the sutra today, which again I would like you to ponder upon, dwell upon. Tomorrow will be the last sutra of this chapter. After that, we will be having a short pause because we will be into Navratri. In Navratri, Navratri is not the time of using the Khopri. Navratri is the time of connecting with the heart. So, we will be having the morning mantra boosters and along with that, we will be having a spe very special short chant dedicated to Ma, allowing us to connect deep with her, with her forms, with her rupa, with her swarupa. And then after that, then we will continue with our Swadhyaya studies. And there we will be taking up Tattva Bodh. Because Tattva Bodh is the precursor, the basics of Vedantic studies. And yoga and Vedanta go hand in hand. Once you understand this, you understand the other better. Just like mathematics and physics, you cannot do one without the other. That way, it, both are interconnected. Therefore, to be able to understand the concepts, yeah, we will be undertaking the studies of Tattva Bodh. Then, after a short period of Tattva Bodh, then we go into the second chapter and that way we continue because this is a long journey and we have to take it morsel by morsel because if you take it too much, you will not be able to digest it. So, with this, let us conclude today. Please sit in comfortable meditative posture, hands on your knees in Jnana or Chin Mudra, eyes gently closed, awareness at the eyebrow center, Madhya. Bring the same image or experience which you had chosen in the beginning. And maintaining your awareness on this, you shall chant the mantra Om three times, followed by Shanti. Taking in a deep breath. Om. Asato ma sadgamaya, Kamaso ma jyotir gamaya, Mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, Sarvesham swasti bhavatu, Sarvesham shantir bhavatu, Sarvesham purnam bhavatu, Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu, Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om trambakam yajamahe Sugandhim pushti vardhanam Urvarukam iva bandhanam Mrityor mukshiyam amratat Om shanti 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 Hansen Pranamatra Swameva Mata Chapita Swameva Swameva Bandhusha Sakha Swameva Swameva Vidya Dravinam Swameva 
Place him on the closed eyes. Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to your eyes, to the brain, to the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Om Sat Namo Narayana.